Welcome Dark Players 1 and all, today on Straight to the Point we're going to be having a look at the throw of Andy Fordham. An incredible player with an amazing throw in action who sadly recently passed away. The first thing you notice with Andy's throw is how he pulls the dart back nice and slow even though it's only a very short pull back with the dart and follows through completely. He does stand quite far off to the right hand side of the hockey. This he's just moved to go around this dart and now he's completely off the hockey. His grip is unique in that he holds the shaft of the dart and pushes down on the dart just before release as he goes through with it. This causes the dart to kick up in the air when he throws. But if you watch the way his hand finishes after every single throw, it's exactly the same. And a superb rhythm there again. And no matter which decade we watch him in, it's always very, very similar. Not a lot changes with Andy's throw over time. So this clip's from 2004, back when Andy was at his best, when he was the BDO World Champion. I watched the unique flight path of his dart. His dart goes right up in the air, and just before it gets to the board, it drops. So if you watch his dart, so after he lets the dart go, the point of his dart points right up to the ceiling, and it flies like that all the way through the air, really high, and then dips last minute. It really is beautiful. But very unique. You can see that there, that point right up to the ceiling after release. There's another close up of his grip five years later, and again, exactly the same, right on the shaft, very light grip. Going back to the original, exactly the same, nothing ever changes, but very, very light. Another thing Andy does very consciously is he tucks the dart right into his body with his opposite hand. This means he doesn't have to lift his hand up much when he goes to retrieve the dart. This is common amongst most top dart players. As we look at him side on again, take note how his elbow always comes to exactly the same height. This allows him to keep extremely consistent on the follow through. And again, it doesn't matter which decade or what year we look at, he always gets this bang on. He never changes it. And if you watch his hand after the dart is thrown, it always finishes in the same position. It's a slow, small drawback, full extension of the arm. The only time his throw changes is when he loses weight. And this was done consciously. Just listen to this. What difference does it make, or does it make any difference being um, 10 stone lighter than when you were probably at your peak? Um, it, it must do because you know, when you're standing in my arms, my arms have more or less gone after size. Have they? So when, you know, when you're throwing, the strength you had, just the weight probably pushing it up. And now it's just standing after size, so now you've got to start pushing it a bit more. So it's a whole different technique for you, having to yeah. learn again how, yeah. how to throw it the dart. It is starting all over again, yeah. Unfortunately for Andy, he never really manages to find his game with the weight loss. But once he puts the weight back on, we do see a big revival in his career. And who could ever forget this amazing resurgence in 2015, where he qualifies for the PDC Grand Slammer Darts. I, for one, absolutely loved it. But that's it for today. That is the incredible, unique and solid throwing style of Andy Fordham. Please remember to like and subscribe and thank you for watching Straight to the Point.